The Autumn Forzathon this week is going to be very helpful for you to get your completion percentage towards the Alpine A110, the 50% series reward, a brand new car in Forza Horizon 4. You're also going to get Forzathon points. Don't forget, when you complete weekly Forzathon challenges, you have to do the chapters in order, otherwise they will not count. This week we're going to have to use a Vans and Utility Vehicle. I promise you this is a little bit more fun than it sounds. First you want to go and filter at the auto show or my cars for vans and utility. I highly recommend using the 1974 Holden Sandman. This is an auto show car. I made two different tunes for this. The first one that we're going to be using is for pretty much anyone. I made a very simple, easy to drive tune that you can use for chapters one through three. Chapter one is just to get into any vans and utility vehicle. Again, highly recommend the Sandman. Leave the festival site drive a little bit chapter one will be complete you might as well just keep on driving because chapter two is to drive 13.1 miles it's as simple as it sounds just keep on driving eventually you're going to get the notification that chapter two is complete once it is chapter three is going to be to earn five threading the needle skills once you get to chapter three you want to switch to solo if you are not already in solo there's two spots that are really good for threading the needle skills, either right outside of the festival, the long straightaway back and forth, or you can go to the east side of the map and go to the highways. The highways are probably the best spot. To get a threading the needle skill, you need two simultaneous near-miss skills. Basically, your goal is to split two cars. I think oncoming traffic always seems to be the easiest for me. You just need a total of five threading the needle skills. And once you get those, chapter 3 will be complete. Chapter 4, finally, is to earn 3 stars at the Rail Yard Danger Sign. If you don't have this danger sign unlocked yet, if you're new to Forza Horizon 4, all you have to do is rank up your Horizon Life tiers. Basically, just earn stars at the danger signs that you have already, and eventually this one will unlock. The Rail Yard Danger Sign is located at the northwest part of the map, I did make a second tune for this danger sign in particular. I tested it here. The three star goal is 700 feet. You should be able to easily get anywhere from 750 to 800 feet. The first thing you're gonna wanna do if you wanna pew 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 this danger sign and get those three stars, just drive around the danger sign and clear the way. Clear the route that you're gonna be taking, get rid of all the objects that slow you down. There's no reason for them to be there. You're gonna lose distance if you don't do this beforehand. I like to start right behind the train tracks. You can literally see the danger sign all the way from out here. It's a straight shot. You pretty much want to have as much throttle as you possibly can the entire way. Have a little bit of throttle control when you're going over the hills and when you're losing traction a little bit. My tune should handle everything that's going to be thrown at you very well. And the only other thing that I can really mention is to just turn rewind on just in case you need it. If you screw up or mess something up, nothing wrong with having that on. I personally never even put it on, never even used it when I was testing this danger sign, but it could be helpful for some people. But once you three-star the danger sign, you will be 100% complete the weekly Forzathon challenge. It should give you about 15% completion percentage towards the autumn season, and obviously percentage towards the series progress, so you can unlock that Alpine, the brand new Alpine coming into Forza Horizon 4. I really hope that everyone found this video to be helpful or useful in one way or another. If you still have any questions at all, please just let me know down in the comment section. I will be sure to get back to you and answer any questions that you have. As always, thanks for watching. Thank you for the support. Have a fantastic week. Pew, pew!